Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today we're heading over to the LS car meet because we're going to be testing out the brand new Growler that has just been added to the test track in Grand Theft Auto Online. I was going to make this video earlier today, but I ran out of time and I just unfortunately had to go to sleep because I was extremely tired. So we're going to do this right now. Anyway, guys, I'm excited to uh, test this thing out. I haven't actually seen this car in game yet, so let's uh, let's see if we can actually find it. It's right over here, so should not be uh, should not be too far. Oh yeah, okay. So the Growler is basically a Cayman Porsche, so it actually looks really good. I actually almost like the look of this thing better than the S2. I'm not sure if it's going to stay that way. I'll have to see what it looks like when it's actually customized, but. So far, I do think that this thing looks pretty fantastic. All right, well, let's hop inside it. We're going to take it into the test track here, and uh, we're going to do a sound test, and I'm going to give you guys my first impressions on it, obviously. All right, guys, let's, uh, let's take a listen to this thing. Okay, so it sounds all right. Uh, definitely doesn't sound like super special or anything really but uh you know it's, it sounds pretty cool off the line i believe it's rear wheel drive only let's actually just test that it felt like it's rear wheel drive only yes it is rear wheel drive only okay makes sense uh it doesn't feel too bad off the line there's a little bit of wheel spin but uh it, it definitely gets moving uh moving pretty decently i would say let's see how it actually corners oh it it feels it feels pretty good it feels really like nice and light Oh man, I actually really like how this thing actually handles. I think with a spoiler on this thing, it'll probably handle really, really well. Um, the back end does like to slide out a little bit, but it's not like an annoying amount. Like it's definitely very controllable. You can stop it from sliding out if you really want to. You know, if you go into a corner a little bit slower, it'll uh, it'll hang in there. That's for sure. It's, it's not going to get out of hand on you. That's for sure. As long as, uh, you know, you just take your corner slowly and everything like that. I honestly think it feels pretty good. The acceleration even right now seems pretty good and it's stock obviously. The handling is pretty good as well. Uh, let's actually just see how quick we can get this thing going all the way across the, uh, the whole place here. So let's see. Let's hop into the interior view really quick. So obviously this thing's stock. You can get it going, you know, pretty decently. I think when it's upgraded, obviously it's going to go a lot faster. Um, I'm interested to see how it's going to handle once it has a spoiler on it because I think it might have like really, really good handling once it gets that little, little bit extra traction bonus on it. I think, I think this car is going to be pretty mean. It's definitely not going to be faster than like the Calico. I don't really think, uh, I, you know, it, it's kind of just the goaded like race car. Um, obviously the new, uh, Vector is uh is also pretty pretty darn good they're both all-wheel drive of course which definitely helps a lot with traction so those two cars are definitely going to be uh hard ones hard ones to beat that's for sure uh but this thing you know i feel like it could uh it could hold its own against those two cars that's for sure anyway guys yeah i'd say you know the growler is definitely a car we're going to be looking forward to i'm going to customize it as soon as it comes out next week so you guys can uh you know look out for that stay tuned for that of course yeah i think that's pretty much it guys if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, leave a like. If not, dislike. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.